Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Very distant, really, because I just can't get my head around it. What happened and why it happened? It's been really hard. Anja is still coming to terms with what happened to her daughter Rosie. The 27-year-old had been looking to the future in a new relationship, but saw her life cut brutally short, unaware of her boyfriend's violent past. We were allowed to be took away from her, and the little boy's not going to see his mum, so she's not going to see him grow up, and she's got, she missed his 10th birthday because it happened a month before he turned 10. There's so many milestones, you know, he's going to be without his mum. Rosie had requested information from police about her boyfriend, Ben Toppin, but as the law stands, police forces provide that within 35 days. 11 days after the application, Rosie was murdered by her partner. She put in the application, she was like, I put the application in, I'm going to prove you all wrong. He has died, he's not horrible to me, he's really lovely. And then, obviously, we didn't get anything back before it happened. The local police force says it was working within the 35 day remit. Rosie's family want those applying to get a call back within 48 hours. And I just don't really want anyone else to go through this. I really wouldn't. It's not, it's not right. It really isn't right. And if she'd have got the information, maybe, you know, that wouldn't have happened. The Home Office says initial checks must be carried out within 24 hours and if immediate risks are identified, police must take urgent action. That didn't happen with Rosie, but her mum and sister believe despite this darkness, there is hope others could be helped. Alan Jenkins, Five News, Preston.